Here's a simplified diagram of the GEAT reactor. It's drawn to show the plumbing parts here uh, that are prescribed by the online plans. This is the reactor here in the middle. Here's the engine on the right and this is the bubbler. In the original plans, exhaust flows through the outer pipe and then out of the chamber. Uh, the exhaust gases are run directly out to a T, which then splits it between the bubbler and a little muffler here. You can choose to put uh, a valve on the bubbler or on the muffler. The engine intake draws fuel through the center pipe and around the reactor rod. And you can put a fresh valve post-reactor here on the right or a pre-reactor here. I've seen it both ways. The fuel is drawn through a valve that leads directly to the bubbler. And there you go. Uh, my first three tests were using this setup. Then I saw Paul Pantone's demo unit and his is much simpler. So on his rig, the exhaust goes out through the reactor like before, but this time straight to a muffler. Uh, the exhaust gases are not being harvested in any way. Uh, the engine draws fuel through the reactor, which is piped directly to the fuel tank. And this creates a vacuum in the fuel tank. And this is satisfied by drawing fresh air directly in through the bubbler line via a valve here. So this then becomes the fuel valve. On my test unit, I put the fresh air valve post reactor over here and then simply closed this end off. This setup doesn't foul up the gasoline with exhaust pollutants. Now, perhaps with a perfected plasma reactor, my exhaust would be cleaner, but I haven't seemed to achieve that yet. So, here we are. Let's just see if we can't get this thing running. second test today using this system. After the fuel was uh, as burnt up as it could uh, from uh, test one, I put fresh gasoline in it and the resulting gas turned this color. And that's a little weird. It's kind of fluorescent. Now I notice that's the same color as this ABS cement that I used to seal the joint and I have a fear that the ABS cement is actually dissolving into the fuel and polluting it. So I'm going to have to make another fuel tank with a, a glass jar of some sort, something bigger than a mason jar, uh, and then see if I get a better result that way. And I'm pretty sure I can. The, uh, the second test ran for 40 minutes on, uh, I don't know how much gas I put in there, honestly. I didn't measure it, I didn't measure it but uh, it went for quite a while. Uh, slowly, the engine would begin to uh, rev down. I'd have to make it a little richer by closing off the fresh air and then it would rev down a bit and I'd make it richer by further closing off the fresh air until the fresh air valve, which is this one right here, is completely shut. That's the state it's in now. It then, I can't make it any richer than that, so I'm hoping the reason it kept revving down was because the fuel was getting more and more polluted by this ABS cement dissolving into the gasoline. If that's the case, that will show up in my next test. So, fingers crossed. But uh, for now, this is a very positive result.